10 things you didn't know about the Arabs in Israel's parliament. We're here at Israel's parliament, the Knesset, and today I'm going to show you 10 things you'd never believe have happened here. Israel's parliament has existed since the very first election in 1949. Today, it's home to 120 elected officials, both Arabs and Jews, who make the laws. The political parties form governments by joining with other parties to get the necessary number of seats, a minimum of 61. Arabs and Jews have served in the Knesset since the very first election. And yes, yes, they get along on a day-to-day -day basis and are friends and colleagues. The first Knesset included Tawfiq Toubi, Amin Salim Sharjura, and Saif al Zobi, all of whom played a critical role in Israeli Arabs' government institutions. Saif al Zobi from Nazareth was not only in the first Knesset, but was re-elected six more times. And he also worked with the Haganah, the pre-state militia that later became the IDF. Tubi was the last surviving member of the first Knesset. And he was also the second longest serving member of Knesset in history, having served 41 years. Tubi was widely respected by Jewish and Arab colleagues, with Israel's current president even eulogizing him. Now check this, everything in Israel's Knesset is in Hebrew and Arabic. Dozens of Israeli Arabs work every day in Knesset, and really, in all government institutes. All members of Knesset receive monthly salary, which is paid by the Israeli taxpayers in full. Yes, yes, both Arabs and Jewish citizens. Currently, there are 15 members of Knesset that are Arab Israelis, and they serve in both Jewish and Arab parties. In fact, in the 23rd Knesset, the Arab joint list was the third largest political bloc with 15 seats. Arab MKs also serve in a variety of leadership positions and on committees. For example, MK Mansour Abbas, deputy chairman of Knesset. MK Aida Touma Sleiman is the chair of the special committee on welfare and labor affairs. And MK Youssef Jabarin, who was the chair of special committee for the right of child. Israeli Arabs, like all Israelis, are permitted free speech. Even criticize the state within the halls of Knesset, and even doing it in Arabic. Finally, in 2016, MK Ahmad Tibi, who was chairing a debate in the Knesset, actually expelled a Jewish minister from speaker's podium and the plenum hall. Whether one agrees with the criticism or not, it is unquestionable that Israeli democracy is active and robust. Yalla, stay tuned for more surprising facts about the Israeli Arab community.